Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome to another video here. Arcade 1UP modifications here. Uh, There's my cabinets here. I got the Street Fighter, the Pac-Man, got the Golden T. Got a couple back in the back room there. Uh, Galaga, Asteroids. And I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be modding the Centipede into the Donkey Kong. I'll have the full video on that one. Uh, just waiting for the artwork, which should be arriving this week. I'll have that done. Uh, but today, today I want to show you guys this machine right here. Now, I know when this came out, uh, a lot of us were excited. Uh, you know, having the Pac-Man, I mean, just look at the machine. It's great. Got the great artwork there. Such an iconic game in Pac-Man. I mean, everybody knows, everybody's played this on numerous systems. So uh, I knew I had to have it. But um, there were some disappointments, though, when this was announced. Uh, one in particular, you know, what type of games on here. Uh, a lot of these machines uh, have like three or four games. Where this one only came with two. Uh, Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus. Um, so that was kind of a disappointment. Um, and a lot of us, I think, also were hoping that there would have been a Miss Pac-Man on here. You know, because, I mean, out of all the Pac-Man games, that is one of the top Pac-Man games um, that took uh, a lot of things that the Pac-Man had and just improved it. So that not being on here... Um, you know a lot of us hoped would have been so with this mod here what I'm doing uh, We're gonna change that we're gonna add that in on here. We're gonna have the miss pac-man We're gonna have the pac-man pac-man plus and even the junior pac-man I'll throw in there and a couple other games that use just the joystick so um, Now when I was doing this mod, you know, um, I haven't modded any of my cabinets um, I used to have a main machine right here um, and one thing I didn't like, you know, uh, I mean, it's not that I don't like or I can't do it as far as putting like thousands or millions of games on one machine. If I only had one machine, yes, I could see, you know, when people don't have like a game room or anything, they just could or, or could only afford or have the room for only one machine, then yes, I could see uh, doing that type of mod, especially with this. You got all the buttons here, you know, uh, but. Me having uh, multiple machines, uh, what I liked about Arcade 1UP, the amount of games, you know, just limiting it to only like four games on there, so it's not overwhelming, and I like that. Um, and uh, the other thing I, why I didn't want to mod it is I want to keep everything the same. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of these mods on here, um, one particular with the ETA Prime, which a lot of people... Uh, doing nothing against the guy or anything. I mean, I love his videos, his tutorials, everything are great. But um, what I didn't want to do is um, having all these, you know, boot up the same way, have all the same functions, and then uh, if I put in the mod um, and I'm not using these functions to turn the machine on or change the volume on here, and they're just there, or I have to put additional buttons here. Or maybe down here for the coins on there. I don't want to do that, you know, because uh, I like to keep everything consistent the same. You know, I don't want somebody to go to this machine, uh, be able to turn it on to go here, and then not be able to function that. Not be able to turn this on here. Uh, you would have to do something else or have a volume switch here to put the volume on. I want to keep everything the same or as much as possible. And I've finally been able to do that, and uh, so now I am going to be doing mods, especially on a machine like this. Uh, probably do it to the Galaga as well, because that only has two games as well. And I'm bringing the Donkey Kong over there in the Centipede, because I'm going to have the 12 and 1. So this one's also probably going to be modded. I'll just get the 12 and the 1. I think they only go for like 2 or 250 now. It comes with the riser, so... It's a great purchase. Uh, so these two probably will be getting the mod. I don't know what I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm thinking um, either a Neo Geo machine or um, the Williams Arcade. Because uh, uh, I love uh, Defender having that uh, with the right control scheme. Might do that. Or Mario Brothers. Uh, you know, one that I think that RK1 is probably not going to get the license. Like this is going to be Donkey Kong. You know, that. There's no. I. I I don't see that coming, you know, uh, with the Nintendo license. So that's why that's getting done there. And then um, 
So today, what we're gonna look at here, uh, cause this is pretty much complete, I, I've done everything. Um, so what you're gonna see on here, we're gonna have the function of the on and off to be able to turn this on this way. Be able to switch the volumes from off, medium to high on here and not having to have additional buttons or drilling holes here, you know. Now you could take this mod, you could improve it, you could put um, additional buttons to have the more games. Um, you know, what the other thing with the control panel here, um, do it yourself, Retro Arcade does a great job in uh, making the customs on here. If I were to do that, I think, I, you know, I, I've seen uh, control pads here where they had the joystick here on the left. Uh, they put like three buttons here. Sometimes even the even the track button do the 60 in one mod. Um, I like to have the joystick right here in the middle, especially for like Pac-Man, these style of games where it's only the joystick. This way you could use it for whichever hand, left hand, right hand. And, you know, when you have it here, you can't do that. I mean, you, it'd be an awkward spot here to try to hold it with the right hand here. So, if I were to do the mod to add more games with the buttons, um, I think I would take these two, just put them up here, where the on office to have your player one, player two, and then just put your buttons here on both sides, on this side and on this side, so you could use this, you know, a lot of the arcade games had that back in the day, you know, put the same design here, I think, you know, you got your squares here, so you put your three buttons here, three buttons here, that's what I would do. Uh, but I don't need to do that, like I said, I got the Galaga machine there, and it's going to be playing a lot of the uh, button games. This one's just all-out joysticks, so uh, a couple mods that I want to do. Number one, the splash screen, right when you turn it on. I want to get the arcade one-up uh, intro video, which we've done on here. And I want to uh, make this function to turn on and off the machine. Okay, so uh, let me show you guys. So pretty much on-off switch, boot that up. It's going to start up the machine. I got rid of the uh, the text here, the logos, the RetroPie uh, logo on here. So that's not going to be on this video. And then you got your Arcade 1UP startup screen there. Uh, added the web website on there, Arcade1UP.com. Get yours now. It's like a 15 second intro. And it's going to boot right up to the menu. Uh, I love this theme, man. There's all different themes. They got an arcade one-up theme on here, but it's more for the horizontal as, as opposed to the vertical. So it doesn't look quite well. But I think this one does, especially for the Pac-Man. It's got the Pac-Man theme on here, your list of games. And then um, I didn't use video snaps. I mean, I could put in video snaps or uh, the banners or whatever. I like the marquees on here. As you can see, you got Frogger. Junior Pac-Man, Ladybug, that's another uh, good game on here, just Joystick, I forgot to mention. You got your Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus. Yeah, and I, I threw in q on here as well. I know q different uh, on here diagonally, so, but uh, it's it's not, it, I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me. I, I added there, you can remove that, you don't want the q -Bert. Uh There's also another game I didn't put on here. I'm not a big fan of it's called Crush. Uh, it's basically where you uh, it's almost like Pac-Man, but you're uh, painting uh, the sh the streets, the walls, whatever. Uh, so you could add that on there. Uh, you, uh, you can make this actually a uh, eight in one machine if you wanted to. Right now I got seven. I, this is good enough for me on here. Um, so as you can see, yeah. All the marquees on here change for that, and it's transparent on here, which is good because you know you don't have like your, uh, uh, you know, around the box there or putting or so. I think this looks very clean. It looks very uh, good, professionally made. It's like you know, um, and it stands out. It, it looks really good with the machine on here. On camera on here doesn't look so good, but uh, uh, it is. It is pretty good. So that, you know, coming out of the box like that. Um, the other thing I I wanted to do that the other machines do as well, um, I didn't want to have any type of menu because, you know, I got little kids on here or I got friends or family members that come for parties or, you know, to hang out on here. I didn't want them to access the menus or hit a button that takes them to a, you know, um, I don't know, retro arch menu or anything. So you can't go left or right on here. This is the only thing. It's only the arcade games that you could go just up and down here. 
Uh, there's no start button on here, so which is great. That's what I wanted to do because you can't do that on the other machines, and that's one less problems or issues that you have to deal with, you know. So I like that. Um, the other thing on here, which I add that I like from the other machines, when you load up a game. Now, now on here it's not going to matter, but when I do like the other machines, uh, to know what button is what, you know. I mean the the main one here, Pac-Man, you know, because it's it's laid out. But the other games, you want to know what buttons do. How do you exit the game and stuff, you know, stuff like that. So I did do that. The, um, I got rid of the retro arch menu so when you load the game you can't hit a button accidentally and then go into the settings so that's uh, disabled taken out um, but the load screen is going to be on there I'm going to show you guys now uh, I'm going to load up Frogger once you load that up there you go you got Frogger and down here press both one and player two to return to menu so you know people got to know how to get back to the menu screen there you go you know, shows all the controls and then loads up the game. So if I want to uh, head back, um, I just press one and two together and I'll take you back to the uh, to the menu where we were, you know. So, I mean, it's slightly different on me on the other machines. You hold the player one, you know, that's the only uh, difference. It's not a big uh, change compared to the other machines, but, you know, so... So any game, I mean, we'll take, let's say, Miss Pac-Man. We'll load that up. Load screen will come up. There you go. You got your marquee, uh, what the buttons are, how to get back to the menu. And then uh, and then loads up the ROM, you know. So, and we got Miss Pac-Man on the Pac-Man machine. And then these will work the same way. Uh, player 1, your coin and your start button. Player 2, coin, start button. And you place both of them to uh, exit out, you know. So we'll load that up. Here's your volume, loud, medium, or off, you know. So everything on here functions, exit out, you know. So that's it. Um, so uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I'm, I am going to be doing the Donkey Kong this week, and I'll do the full. Uh, full thing on that like the whole tutorial i know a lot of you guys asked for this one but it was already done on here i really don't want to unhook and do it again but um it's gonna be the same type of concept you know uh getting this vertical screen on here you know as opposed to the horizontal uh having all these buttons function on here and just trying to keep it as much similar as the other machines so you know so it's not different uh as far as the function so on this one, I don't have to put any additional holes or anything. You got your plexiglass on here, so you don't have to touch that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I could add the coin door on here. I might change the artwork on here. Um, make it all yellow. I really like that look. Um, that's it. Yeah, so there, there you go. There's the um, modified uh, Pac-Man machine. Uh, it's as simple as you're going to get. <laughs>